Baltimore Ravens select Kyle Hamilton, defensive back, Notre Dame. The rise of Kyle Hamilton, from high school prodigy to NFL star. Kyle Hamilton's journey into the NFL was paved with talent, dedication, and a touch of destiny. From his early days dominating high school fields in Atlanta to becoming a Defensive Rookie of the Year candidate for the Baltimore Ravens, Hamilton's story is one of resilience, unwavering passion, and a constant drive to be the best. Born and raised in Atlanta, Georgia, Hamilton was a natural athlete from a young age. He excelled in basketball and baseball, but football was where his true passion lay. Standing at 6'3", even as a teenager, Hamilton possessed a rare blend of size, speed, and athleticism that made him a dominant force on the gridiron. He starred for his high school team, Westminster, racking up accolades and scholarship offers from some of the most prestigious universities in the country. By the time he graduated, Hamilton was considered one of the top recruits in the nation, with many projecting him as a future NFL star. Hamilton. I'm going to visit a couple more schools and uh, try to get a for sure idea of where I want to go. And once I feel comfortable with the place, uh, I mean, I'll probably pull the trigger then. Committing to the University of Notre Dame. In South Bend, he quickly became a fan favorite, showcasing his versatility and playmaking ability. He played safety, linebacker, and even some defensive end, displaying a football IQ that belied his years. Hamilton's time at Notre Dame was not without its challenges. He battled injuries in his sophomore year, but he bounced back stronger, earning All-American honors and establishing himself as one of the top defensive prospects in the 2022 NFL Draft. And we heard, hey, it's 14 guys, pretty special. It's a rare safety, 6'4". So I was keeping an eye on you. Right. And in the first play that you played in here against New Mexico, hey, it's Kyle Hamilton's first snap, stop the world. Usually nothing happens. Right. <laughs> and you came up with a pick six on that play. Yeah. What was that like, your first play in that stadium? It was, uh, it was pretty crazy, honestly. My family was talking to me after the game. My dad was crying. My mom was like going crazy. Your dad was crying? Yeah, He's I know, been right? sports it's, supposed, it's supposed to be flipped around. My mom was supposed to be crying, but no. Uh, it was pretty emotional. And it was hard to be that young and have that happen and stay in the game and stay focused and stuff. But everybody around me, Loe, Jalen, all the other seniors were congratulating me. But at the same time, we were like, you got to refocus. We still got a game to play. And, I think that just describes the whole Notre Dame program is that we make great plays, but at the same time, we're humble enough to refocus. How much has uh, your family's influenced your ability to handle stardom uh, pretty comfortably from what it seems? I think it's funny that sometimes I lose sight of the fact that I may be like Notre Dame football player, big star player, because they're just treating me like Kyle at the end of the day. After every game, they always keep me humble, keep me blessed. They always treat me the same way no matter what, and I really appreciate that for them. Now, I think there's an NFL future for you. There's great college days ahead. You got a good job opportunity. We stop trying to take our job. I hear you're killing it as a podcast. Host. <laughs> Kyle, with us right now. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Uh, let's start with this. Who do you think your game most emulates in the NFL? Um, maybe a Derwin James, just okay. based off size comparison. Um, he's a great player, so. Get to that level, that's the goal. Um, I grew up a big Sean Taylor fan, rest in peace. He's, a, he's I, in my opinion, goat safety. Um, I know the YouTube video is front to back, so I don't mind research. Uh, okay. uh, ooh, I am a fan of yours. I like you. I like your potential. I'm looking forward to it. But you just mentioned two dudes, man. When you say Sean Taylor, I mean, that's a different dimension. <laughs> right, God rest right. his soul. When you say Durin James, mm -hmm. that's no. a different dimension. That Now, you do understand that when right. you mention those names and you talk about that's what you who you idolize, Ooh. that's what you try to marry your game after, mm -hmm. they're tenacious hitmen. That's what I mm. call them. I mean, look, remember what Sean Taylor did to a punter for crying out loud. A punter. In the pro During right. an old pro game. You understand right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Are you, you don't right. seem pro to be <laughs> that you don't seem to be that mean spirited. I mean, well, are you sure? I just want to make sure you're sure. I'm positive. You flip that switch on the field. Um, I mean, I've never seen somebody compare themselves to somebody that's average. So, okay. Um, Sean Taylor's best. I mean, I'm obviously not there yet, but that's my aspiration. So, mm -hmm. get there at some point. I'm just saying, you that mean though is what I'm trying to say because you look like a very, very nice guy. I appreciate that. that. <laughs> I appreciate that. But uh, yeah, I definitely flip the switch on the field. Okay. Right. And, 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 and it's okay to have that baby face. Steph Curry don't look like he's dangerous. 
but he's as dangerous as they get when he gets <laughs> on that basketball <laughs> floor. <laughs> he doesn't look dangerous at all. Right. Right. He he's a baby face. You want to come on morning television right. and look angry? Right. Right. Come on. Exactly. right. We're talking back, backstage, man, and just talking about it's been a while since we've seen a safety being talked about like as going this high in yeah. the draft. And, and, and the NFL has changed so much. You have that dual, that dual ability where you can stop the run but also make plays in the backfield. What would you say is your greatest asset as a safety being ready to get drafted this high? Yeah, I would say my uh, like flexibility, versatility within the defense. Um, playing deep, playing in the box, playing in the slot, uh, moving around so quarterback doesn't know where I'm going to be at, and it also frees up other guys to make plays. So I feel like flexibility kind of deepens the playbook and uh, gives the defense a lot more opportunities to make plays. Do, do, do you think, uh, you, you remember, you watch Ed Reed and the guys, when you start talking about Sean Taylor, the Ed Reeds and Ed Reed, I love how Ed Reed used to out-quarterback the quarterback. Yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like he would start one way and then run all the way because he knew where the play was going. Are you talking – you are playing that kind of way. You want you, can you play with that kind of freedom if somebody gave it to you? Yeah, I think so, and I think that comes with time too. Um, film study, obviously, but as a safety, I think it's one of the hardest positions in football. And uh, if you don't do your film study like Ed did, you, it's impossible to play that position. When you view NFL defenses, because obviously I know you watch your football and you know your football. Do, when you view NFL defenses, what do you do? You find or do you see somebody where you say that's the right system for me? Do you think like that as a player aspiring to get to the next level, or do you harbor the mentality? It don't matter where I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to be who I am. Yeah, I would say the latter. I would say I I can conform to whatever system I'm in. Um, I feel like that just comes back to my versatility. Uh, I don't want to be. I'm only playing in the two high, or I'm only playing in a defense where I'm in the box. I feel like wherever I go, I can adapt and do well. When, when, when I was getting going through this process, getting ready to get drafted, I was sitting there thinking to myself, okay, I want to step in the league and make an impact. Who is the man that right now is doing it in the NFL? At the time, it was Daryl Green. My whole mindset was, I got to get in this league and do the dirty to Daryl Green <laughs> so everybody understand who I am. Is there anybody that you're thinking about, or any quarterback, any team, or any receiver that you may just want to do some dirty to to get your respect? Uh, I grew up a big LSU fan, so I grew up a big Odell Beckham fan. He was my screensaver in middle school, stuff like that. Um, I've been rooting for him, been a fan of him, but it'd also be cool to go against him, make some plays, kind of show that I'm on that level too. Yeah. Uh, that'd be pretty dope. Yeah. yeah. You know, uh, he's from a family of basketball players. Is that? Yeah. Can hoop a little too, right? Yep. My pops played overseas for about 13 years. My uncle is Antonio Lang, played oh, at Duke. Okay. Yep. That's okay. my uncle. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm taboo. I'm the only football player in the family. Big okay. Growing up, did you want to be in the NBA? I want to be in the NFL, but uh, freshman year, I was about 5'11", 140, soaking wet. So uh, the football football dream was looking a little bleak. Um, <laughs> I had a few basketball opportunities, but right. as soon as I got my first football offer, it was over with. At that I'd point. be remiss. So you, were show, you played like guard? You played a guard or something? Yep. Because I'm asking, because yep. that, that, that's sprouted. great ball control and understanding ball placement. Yeah. So I want to know that you can go and get that football and make make some great yeah, plays. That, that's what they say. I definitely think basketball translated to football right. very well for me. Yeah. He can golf right. too, by the way. So okay, all right, I got bit, you. I, I, let me transition back to Notre Dame for a second here. You got a new football head, football coach. His name is Marcus Freeman. Um, I'm very, very happy that he's the new head coach of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. He was the defensive coordinator there prior to getting this job. I want you to speak to him and what he's been able to do to help you get to this point. Yeah, I would say just how comfortable the building is with him at the helm. Um, he's actually coming out here today, so he'll be here for the draft, um, which I appreciate. But he's a relatable guy. He's a younger guy. Um, guys have seen him in his Ohio State uniform, clowning him uh, about his bald head and stuff like that. And then uh, in the NFL. So taking criticism from a guy who's been through it, who's uh, closer in age to you, and taking coaching from him as well is probably a little easier. Um, no offense to Coach Kelly. He's a great coach. Um, never done anything um, ill will towards me or anybody else that I know of, but um, he had to do what he needed to do. But I think Coach Freeman is a very fresh spot in the program. Kyle, Kyle our, our job, as I tell everybody, is always to introduce you to the NFL audience. You think by the time you leave this game, those names that you remember, your name will be hovered, hovering in those areas. The Sean Taylors, the Ed Reeds, those great safeties that we watched in this game. I 100% I think so. Um, I mean, that's the goal. I feel like that should be the goal for a lot of people. And uh, you set your goals high, it forces you to work hard, it forces you 
to understand the work that's going to have to go into it for you to reach those goals. And um, I'm just excited to start the journey because I believe in my talent. Uh, I'm excited to make all these relationships. I believe you. Yeah. But <laughs> I, let me tell you something right now. Yeah, yeah. Because you mentioned Derwin James and Sean Taylor. And, 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 you understand? What do you want to set the bar? We all remember right, that. Exactly. We all remember. <laughs> I mean, he mentioned some. Listen, listen. I believe yeah. in a brother. I believe yeah. in yeah. I'm with. Hey, it's Eric DeCoste from Baltimore. How you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. We uh, we are gonna make you a Baltimore Raven. We're gonna turn the card in. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited. I appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah. Who you who you there with? Uh, my mom, dad, brother, girlfriend, family, friends, both grandmas, coaches, a lot of people here. That's awesome. Well, you're gonna be. Hey, thank you. Okay. Welcome. Here's Mike. Here's Mike. One sec. Kyle. Hello. Hey. Hey, it's Mike McDonald, man. How's it going, bro? Congrats. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're a raven, man. Yep. <laughs> it's time to go, man. Time to go. Man, well, let's, let's get to work. We're fired up. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited. That's awesome, man. I'm, I'm happy for you and your family, bro. And, uh, man, I can't wait to get you up here and let's get to work. Sounds good. Let's do it. All right, brother. All right, man. It's Baltimore. Let's go, baby. Woo! Uh, every week you're going against freak athletes and the smartest guys that you'll ever play against. <clears throat> ever play against, excuse me. But it just requ requires you to study that much more, work that much harder because we're here for a reason too. Um, Ravens drafted us for a reason because they feel like we can uh, compete and be better than these guys that we're competing against. So um, it builds confidence playing at a high level like that, but we know that coming in, it's gonna just be a full reset. One of the best in the league at their positions and their second season. I mean, that is remarkable. I believe that Kyle Hamilton is going to be an X factor in this game. The second year safety has been excellent all season and his versatility means that he can match up against basically anyone. Uh, really showcase what we're about against a great offense. Um, you know, props to those guys over there. There's playmakers all over the field, and solid front line. And uh, I think we're just the guys to go handle it. But at the same time, uh, we gotta be locked in, good week preparation going out there, travel time all that taken into consideration, but um, it's really all just distractions at the end of the day. And I think we're gonna go out there and uh, do what we do. Play every single position. So it's it's kind of crazy just the things he can do. We'll, we'll definitely have him you know, all over the place. I think um, no matter what position, I mean, I've seen him guard top, the number the team's number one wide receiver. I've seen him make tackles, seen him beat Olam, and he really can truly do it all.